Hello there, and today's screencast is all about the parts of the eye. So let's get right into it. No wasting time here. Okay, so parts of the eye. Uh, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine parts of the eye listed here, but I'm only going to really uh, focus on seven of them. I'm not going to focus on those ones that are the humors. Although I will mention right now the humors are like a fluid, and that, that fluid helps to maintain eye pressure. Okay. But we have here the optic nerve, the retina, the ciliary muscle, the lens, the iris, the pupil, and the cornea. Okay. So going through these kind of outside in, we'll start with the cornea. And the cornea is the outer covering of the eye. Plain and simple. It's the part that you can actually poke with your finger. The iris, that would be the colored part of your eye, which controls the amount of light that enters. Okay, so that iris, the color part, actually has a function, not just to make your eyes look beautiful. It controls the amount of light coming in. And the structure the iris is directly related to is the pupil. Because the pupil is known as the opening in the eye. It's the dark center. And it's normally smaller in bright light and large in dark light. And this is controlled or dictated by the iris. Okay, if, if you look in the mirror and you turn off the lights, your eyes will appear large. The iris lets the pupil expand and it lets lots of light in. If you turn on the light quickly, you'll notice that your iris will make the pupil look smaller and allowing less light in. Okay. So here's some images here. You can see the cornea uh, just right up top right here, about a uh, little bit sticking out of your eye that you can see. And uh, the picture below it actually shows how light can refract slightly as it travels through the cornea. And then there's a nice picture of the iris there, very colorful on the right there. The lens, the next structure, the lens, that's inside the, the eyeball and it focuses incoming light. The last screencast uh, we talked about how the lens plays an important role in making sure that that image is projected directly onto your retina. And it is helped, uh, that process is helped by something called the ciliary muscle. And those ciliary muscles are attached to the lens all the way around and they help to focus the image. So they're the muscles that stretch or relax your lens. And sometimes when those muscles become lazy or they don't work anymore, that's when you have trouble focusing. Old age also does something to those muscles too. Now we have the retina too. And we talked about that last screencast. It is the tissue that covers the back of the eye. And this tissue acts like a movie screen. And this movie screen receives images that pass through the pupil, through the lens onto the retina. So here is on the left there, there's a picture of a lens. I don't know what organism it came from, but there is a lens there. You can see it's very transparent. And just on the right there, you can see all those individual muscles, those ciliary muscles, as they attach to the lens and they stretch and relax that lens as needed. Very cool. Very cool. This image, taken in November of 2008, is a retina. This is what actually the optometrist sees when they look into your eye. And it's quite red. You can see the blood vessels that run through it. And there's like two spots. There's supposedly like a, a, a white spot there and a black spot. Now this is a retina. This is actually my retina. And uh, it's what the optometrist sees when they look inside. And you can see how uh, that white spot is actually like a hole in the back of my eye. And that's normal. That is where all the nerve endings come in to the back of the eye that connect to the retina. And those nerve endings, if you were to hop on a little magic school bus and ride that those nerve endings, you'd end up in the back of the brain. And you can see all the blood vessels coming out too. Okay, So that little cord there, that little spot where all the nerve endings come out or go in, is what's called the optic nerve. And this collects information from the retina and sends it to the brain. Now, the retina is actually uh, several layers composed of very complex uh, structures. And those structures are called photoreceptors. Photo being light, receptor being receiver. They're light sensitive and they work really well in the light and really well with color. There are two types of photoreceptors. There are rods and there are cones. Now, rods are very sensitive to light. They are the ones that actually pick up all the light and say, whoa, there's a bright light here. And when you stare at a light bulb for too long, and when you look away, you see like a blue or a purple spot, that's actually because your rods are over uh, excited. They are still firing when you look away from the light, saying, holy cow, there's light here, uh, but they haven't quite shut off yet. Cones, on the other hand, they detect color, 
but they don't work very well in low light, which is why we need our rods and cones to see properly. So in the dark, you can't see very well because of all those uh, uh, different shades. And the more color in the dark that's apparent, the more you're going to rely on those cones to see them. You have, or the rods, I'm sorry. You have approximately 100 million rods and only approximately 7 million cones. That's a 14 to 1 ratio on the difference between seeing in light and dark and versus seeing in color. So you can tell that our bodies are, are designed to, to work in the light and dark more so than they are to see color. Although we still see it, and that's a good thing. But it looks like we're designed to see more in the light and the dark. Okay. And after light strikes that retina, it goes down the optic nerve, and that signal is sent to the brain. This brain then interprets the image and actually flips it right side up so that you can see everything and allows us to view the outside world naturally. Okay. So that's a very quick rundown of the parts of the eye. Uh, you might want to go back and take another look, peek at these because although labeling the parts is important, knowing their structures is more important. So please take the time to go back and know what those structures do.